Hi, people. This is Betty again. Okay. As you know, in 2009, I had caught the sepsy on top of the polio, polio that I have um, that kept me from walking from my waist down, you know. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. It is the Sahara Desert is very, very tense today. And then it's raining also. So, um, what... What happened there was that I lost all my proteins, my vitamins, everything. I was weak. I couldn't even brush my teeth without help. That's how bad I got. So I have tried to like lift myself up, my spirit, my strength, all that stuff, and it has worked. You know, I'm gonna show you something. <clears throat> Sorry, cause I can't edit this videos, you know, so, um, this is Chia, yeah, Chia, um, I usually leave this, <coughs> I usually leave this, um, usually during the night, you know, but I can't drink it yet, it's still, you know, not puffed, don't ever drink Chia in a spoon to drink it like that, because they... They get sticky and they get big. You know, like they get expand themselves when they get when they get touched with water. Oh, saliva. And it could choke a person. So what I do, at nighttime I put this on. You know, I shake it very well and I leave it during the night. Today I have to wait because I didn't I forgot to put it on. So I have to wait. <laughs> These little cubs are so cute. They, you buy, uh, but we, my husband buys these, I think it's mustard. Yeah, mustard. Uh, buy these, and we save the cups. And it's great, because you could use it for coffee. You could cover it up and put some juice in there. You know, it's very useful. And plus, it's they are very economical. So you got two things in one. So, not really three, because you got this. You got, you know, to save. You have, um, for, you know, if you want to give coffee to a person, you got already the, the glass, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, I also wanted to show you some other things, like they start here. Um, some are harvest. These are harvest. These are mangoes. Um, they were harvest from, you know, when you come toward inside my house, there's a big tree there that belongs to my cousin. So they fall and we grab. <laughs> We're allowed to do that, you know. So, and it keeps the, because when you go in with the car, you're going to make a mess climb, pouring all over them. So a lot of people, in the, you know, their family, they go over there and they take some uh, mangoes and stuff. I love mangoes, but I just don't like the fiber. You know, it gets all your teeth and you got to be brushing your teeth and getting all that out. That's what I don't like. But... <clears throat> they taste good. Um, also, this is harvest. As you know, this is my eggplant. I haven't made the juicing yet, but I uh, will be doing it because I haven't had the time. So um, this is going to be into juicing. I'm going to make juice out of it. I got to buy the orange juice, though. So I got, I'm going to make the juice out of that. And the apples are not Harvest here, no. I don't know anybody who harvests, who has an apple tree. Really don't. But these were a pack, a big pack, two for $5. So you could buy one, and it comes out to one fifty, uh, two fifty. You know, so my husband just bought one, you know. And they're pretty good. They're fresh, and they're good. Uh, usually they're like three, three fifty. So... Two fifty is a bargain. <laughs> then we have here melons. I love melons. I made I made it to be cut up in pieces because I can't cut this. This was a humongous melon. I mean, big. It was two for five dollars also. So we just took one because it was giant, you know. And I I love eating melons, and so they bought me melons. <laughs> They say, I got a surprise for you. I say, what? I got you melons. But this is, um, this is not, I ate the, this couldn't hardly close. It was so stuffed there. 
And I have some here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I could open it in the corner or something. Ah, right there. Right there. I got a whole bunch of melons. Plus, I got a... Yeah, no, they went flying. <laughs> I'll pick it up later. Um, They... I call it... They're over here. And I got another bag. Another bag that I was going to give to my mom. But she hasn't come to pick it up. And I forgot to take it Friday when I went up to her house. So there's another bag there. But since she don't like to eat sweet things, you know, she's diabetic. I'm diabetic too, but I still eat it. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is how I... Oh, and then we have... That's not all. I have a hydrated collagen and centrum over 50. <laughs> Why? Because my, uh, since I caught the sepsy, my strength, yeah, you know, I get very weak. If I don't drink vitamins or and things like that, I get very, very weak and sleeping. I don't feel like doing nothing. I get real down, you know. And it's not me. It's not that I'm getting lazy or anything. It's that I feel like my whole system is shutting down, you know. So that's why I buy this, the Centrum. You know, to give me multivitamins, plus I eat all these stuff. Plus this, I drink it because um, the doctor told me that I need <clears throat> collagen because uh, my bones were very, um, how you call it? They felt real painful. Just by hitting me, I was feeling a lot of pain. So, um, and my hands, this hand especially, you can't notice but when this side here, it blows up. Let me see. I can't show you. Okay, when, you know where the pinky is? On top, it gets real swollen. And when that gets swollen, these three fingers can't work. It hurts like crazy. So sometimes, it, you know, it's very difficult to wash dishes. So I drink that to control my bones and my system, you know. And the collagen, why I drink collagen, uh, not the collagen, the chia, why I drink chia? You know, I tried it one time, you know, my husband told me, hey, that's great, you know, like vitamins, proteins, blah, blah, blah. So I tried to, I bought one and tried, you know, tried to drink it. I noticed that I didn't have the problem because I, when I was, when I had the sepsi, I also had, uh, my stomach stopped, totally stopped. They were going to operate, but, um, you know, I had, thank God I had a Christian um, doctor. And I saw that the doctor told, said, no, no. There was a, like a pen that was writing to him, no. And he looked at me very serious. He says, you know what? God don't want me to operate you. So I'm not going to operate you. And he didn't. And I said, hey, listen to the Lord. <laughs> you know, when he says something, you got to you gotta keep that. So um, they took me back upstairs. Fifteen minutes later, the doctor shows up, puts the thing, the ear thing in my stomach, and it was working. Totally working. I was supposed to have like three operations in different places because of my sepsy. And they didn't have to operate. None. So I didn't even did that happen. I say, Lord, don't let none of these operations. They're going to operate me too because I caught, because of the sexy, I caught a stromulitis. A stromulitis is terrible. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Is pus and your bones. And you know when your bones got is full of pus, it hurts like crazy. It's like cancer. And um, they couldn't find what it was. And then we talked to a, a friend doctor to take my case, and he took my case, and he found the osteomyelitis. They had put me into a separate room, you know, because I had the stain in my, uh, how you call it, in my lungs. I had stains. They thought it was um, tuberculosis. So they separated me, and people had to come in with masks. I knew I didn't have no tuberculosis because I don't know nobody who has one. <laughs> And it's not like my house is full of people, you know. It's just me and the family. That's it, you know. So, um, but they, the way they took the precaution, 
Then they took me out because then they found out that it was uh, it was pus in my lungs. So they did the procedures and they until they cleared it all out. I had to take um, I call it my, my, yeah, mycomizer for almost I think it was like a year. It didn't want to go down, you know. And um, they sent me to this other hospital to finish the the, the mycomizer. The guy, the doctor, stood shut. He didn't say nothing that it wasn't doing nothing. And when I got, they let me go out. I started feeling the same pain. It was getting bigger again. So I went back to the, my main doctor. You know, my main is the hospital. The hospital is right there. So when they checked me, they had to put me back in the hospital. And they told me there's only one more thing uh, besides mycomycin. There's the strongest one. We don't, we don't like to give it to people, but we're going to have to do it. If this don't work, we can't do nothing for you. I said, oh, Lord. Please, please let that work. And it worked. So that's why I'm here. And that's why my, my bones sometimes feels like, you know, like somebody's playing with me and they hit me. I'm going, ouch, stop. Because it hurts, especially on my legs. Because my leg got two things. It has um, brittle bones because of my polio for 63 years. And it has, uh, it had that, that's why mostly, most of the, Puss was that. So I had that two both problems. So I drink chia and I also had problems. In, so because I've had the stomach that stopped, um, I caught something that is very painful. My bowel movements. I have irrational bowel movements. You know, I could spend, a, I would spend a, a whole week without even going to the bathroom. And then when I used to go to the bathroom, it was a big how you call it? Big thick um wood. That's how it felt. Like a big stick wood pulling right out. And it was very, very painful. Sometimes I used to cry. So um I started to drink chia. My husband said, Hey, take that. They say it's good for your stomach also. So I tried to take it and it worked. Um then I stopped. I said I didn't need it no more. <laughs> I don't know. I got lazy. I stopped. And I started getting the same problem. So now I'm starting to drink it. My bowel movements is normal as I drink this. So that, you know, people say, don't drink chia, you know, it's not, not that good for you. Well, it is good for me. And if it's good for me, I'm going to take it, you know. So all this I drink, I have to drink vitamins or else I'll go weak. I have to drink chia for my bowels. I have to eat fruits, you know, to help my... You know, get my some proteins and vitamins and whatever we get it from these um, fruits. And I love it. I love fruits. I ain't got no problem with the fruits. I got problems with the vegetables. But I'm learning. You know, now I eat um, lettuce. 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 <laughs> and now I eat um, eggplant, which I hated years ago. But I only eat it as juicing. I take it. I blend. I clean it up. I blend it, and I put some orange juice, and it's divine because the whole orange juice takes the the flavor out of this, you know. So it's great. So people, I just wanted you to know, you know, uh, something certain things that I have, so you could understand if you have some sort of um, problem, you know, bone problems and stuff. Collagen is the best way. Collagen, they say that. We had we had high in collagen when we were born, you know. What makes you get older is the collagen. It starts to det deteriorate, and that's how you deteriorate. So I ain't gonna deteriorate. I'm gonna take start taking this all the time. Heck with that. <laughs> so that's all for now. Oh my God, I went on 14 minutes. That's all for now. God bless you all. Until next time. Bye bye.